The three letters G, T and O, Gran Turismo Homologato, adorn perhaps Ferrari's most famous and most coveted model, the 250 GTO. And this is the second generation, the 288, which was launched in 1984. At that point in time, most manufacturers were looking towards the Group B platform to showcase their most advanced vehicles of that period. This was Ferrari's answer. 400 brake horsepower, 1100 kilos, twin turbos from a 3 litre V8, 0.8 bar of boost, creating a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds and a top speed of 189 miles an hour, making it the fastest supercar of its day and perhaps the original supercar. In order to qualify for Group B regulations, Ferrari had to build at least 200 examples of the 288. In fact, official numbers show 272 were built. Our records show 285 plus. Such was the demand, it was extremely difficult to obtain one of these when they were new, and only the very VIP clients of Ferrari were capable of qualifying for one. However, for one particular family, left-hand drive, as they all were produced, red, and only having one, just didn't quite stack up, so they went an extra mile. From the very early days, it was the coach builder and not Ferrari themselves who you would turn to to build something bespoke. And Pininfarina was one of those very avenues of design. From the 166 right up to most recently the famous Glickenhaus P45, a reclothed Enzo. According to noted historian Keith Blumel, this example is one of just four cars that was purchased by said family and sent to Pininfarina for a radical transformation. That transformation cost double the price of the car new at that point in time and involved totally rebuilding the car and reconfiguring it in right-hand drive. Each one of those four cars was painted a different colour. There was blue, grey, dark red and this car finished in Nero. Owing to the humidity and the nature of the environment that the car has been living in for most of its life, it required a total restoration at only 1,800 kilometres from you in 2012. That was carried out by a Ferrari main dealer and actually the technician that was responsible for that restoration is an employee of DK's at this moment in time. We've been lucky enough to handle a number of significant cars from that same collection over the years and every single time we're always blown away by how forward thinking their specification choice was at that point in time. And any of you who know who that family are will agree that they've had some of the best cars over the years and of course the largest collection in the world. Of the five F cars Ferrari have built to date, the 288, the F40, the F50, the Enzo, and the LaFerrari, undoubtedly, the 288 is the rarest and most sought after, but it also happens to be my favorite. It's the best A to B road car. It's got large profile tires and can ride any bumps and undulations. The engine is basically the same as an F40 with a little bit less power, but narrow section tires, making it much more exciting to drive. And the steering is the best of any Ferrari I've ever experienced. And this right-hand drive example is the only example to have escaped captivity. A real honor and privilege to have had a go at it today.